what are the sort of the attributes that people um, coming to your stand today have, have been bringing? Um, I think obviously they bring a lot of expertise within their sport. Um, if they are um, sport specific, obviously they offer a lot of expertise within their certain areas, whether it be football. I think today mostly has been football apprenticeships. Um, they may be good communicators on the field, they may have good leadership qualities if they captain teams. Um, so really in terms of what we're offering is qualifications to support that along with the apprenticeship programme um, in terms of sport specific and generic sports qualifications. Yeah, so I guess they bring a sort of a skill set that um, you can't often find but what you're trying to do is build um, build some specific skills on, onto, onto that skill set? Yeah, I think we're just trying to offer a pathway for people that are on the apprenticeship programme if they want to take their uh, both sport specific and generic sports knowledge further then we can use, you know, have that opportunity for them to do that really. Um, we also provide opportunities for people from disadvantaged communities to get into coaching and using sport as a vehicle to get them into employment or into education. Yeah, and I, and I guess obviously um, these guys have had a great experience of sport, so they're quite keen to, to try and stay in, in sport if they can. I think what you've got to do is once they've got their interest in sport is to try and retain them, and I think that's a difficulty. I think if you can offer lots of pathways and opportunities for them to excel uh, and move forward in terms of enhancing their personal uh, personal skills, then I think you've hopefully you can retain them then in sport for a long period of time.